Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. The Squala Hatch is one of the premier stonefly hatches. It usually takes place from late February to early March, prior to runoff. This high-floating, easy-to-see fly does a remarkable job of imitating the winged adults. The pattern begins with a long shank size 10 hook. After getting the hook firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise, load a bobbin with a spool of dark brown unithread. Get the thread started on the hook shank, leaving a bit of space behind the eye, then take a few rearward wraps before snipping off the excess tag. Continue taking thread wraps down the hook shank to build up a nice thread base. Keep wrapping until your thread hangs about halfway between the hook point and the barb. Tease a small amount of peacock dubbing free from the packet. Use the dubbing to create a slender 2.5 inch long noodle on your tying thread. Take wraps with the noodle to build up a bulbous little clump right at the start of the hook bend. Trim away any overly wild fibers. Pick up one of the pieces of dark brown 2mm craft foam and make angled cuts at one end, like so. Place the foam on top of the hook shank so it extends about a hook gap length behind the bend. Anchor the foam to the top of the hook with a narrow band of tight thread wraps. Pull another small amount of peacock dubbing free from the packet and once again use it to create a slender 2.5 inch long noodle on your tying thread. Pull the forward pointing portion of the foam up and back and take wraps with a dubbing noodle to create another portion of underbody on the fly. Then pull the foam forward over top of it and anchor it there with another narrow band of thread wraps. Repeat the same procedure once again to create another short segment on the fly. In doing so, make sure to leave at least an eye length of space behind the back edge of the hook eye. The fly should now look something like this. Black Zelon is used to form the wing of the fly. Pick up one of the lengths provided and snip one end of it off square and even. Place the snipped off end on top of the fly over top of your tying thread and take a few nice tight wraps to secure it. Trim the Zelon off so it's slightly longer than the foam. Pick up your dubbing packet one last time and pull free about half the amount of dubbing as you've done before. Use this to create a slender inch and a half long noodle on your tying thread. Again, pull the foam up and back and take wraps with the dubbing noodle to build up a little bulge behind the hook eye. Pull the foam down and secure it right behind the eye with tight wraps of tying thread. Then, bring your tying thread rearward to where the wing was tied down. Fold the foam back over top of the fly and take tight wraps to secure it there. Trim the folded over foam to a point that extends back to above the rear tie-down location. Pick up one of the narrow strips of 2mm orange foam and anchor one end of it to the top of the fly with a few tight thread wraps. Snip the rearward pointing portion off into a point. Pull free one segment of the medium brown rubber leg material. Place its midpoint against the near side of the hook and take a couple of thread wraps to anchor it there. Pull the forward pointing portion around to the far side of the fly to form a small loop in front and take thread wraps to anchor it. Pick up your whip finish tool and use it to do a 5 or 6 turn whip finish at the forward tie down location. Make sure to seat the knot really well then snip your tying thread free. Apply a drop of head cement to the exposed thread wraps on either side of the fly to make sure they don't come unraveled. Snip the front loop of rubber leg material and reposition the rubber legs if needed. The squala hatch is oftentimes a veritable feeding frenzy and this fly is really all that's needed to get the job done.